Have you ever thought about how many water bottles are drank worldwide every day? The answer is a lot. For every bottle drank, that plastic has to end up somewhere. Eventually, it seems like there won't be any space left for all this plastic. But here's an idea. What if we refilled our water bottles? How easy would that be to do? And think about the benefits we would have by refilling. Everyone likes money, right? Here's something you probably didn't know. The average cost per gallon of bottled water is 121. On the other hand, a gallon of tap water costs a whopping $2 per every thousand gallons. Wow, talk about a huge difference. Here's another statistic for you. If every Clemson student drinks three bottles of water a day, we are spending over $6 million per year on bottled water alone. The cost to refill would only be $8,000 per year. Here's more statistic for you. The average water pitcher filters 240 gallons of water per year, costing about 19 cents per day. That same amount from water bottles would require 1,800 bottles of water per year at the cost of nearly $5 a day. As if the economic decision to refill water bottles isn't persuasive enough, let's talk about the environmental impact of water bottles. All these water bottles have to go somewhere. Most of them end up in landfills, but sadly, a lot of plastic ends up in the environment. Eight million tons of plastic end up in the ocean alone every year. Sadly, a significant amount of this plastic is in the form of plastic water bottles. Americans alone drink 29 billion bottles of water per year. That means all of these bottles, aside from the few that get recycled, end up in our landfills or the environment. Given that the average water bottle takes about 450 years to completely degrade, how are the landfills supposed to keep up with this level of intake? Here's the answer. They won't be able to. In controversy to popular belief, recycling is not working. Only one of every four or every six water bottles gets recycled. We need to be refilling. Refilling one water bottle can save enough energy to power a 60 watt light bulb for six hours. Everyone seems to care about oil, right? Well, I bet you didn't know that over 17 million barrels of oil are used year round to produce water bottles. This is not including the transportation costs necessary to, stri to distribute this water. So not only do we have to worry about the plastic from water bottles, but we also have to waste one of our most valuable resources, just because we're too lazy to refill our own water bottles. What about pollution? Everyone that goes to the beach would agree that the water, when the water is peppered with soda and water bottles, it takes away from the true beauty and enjoyment of being there. Unfortunately, everyone you see will take hundreds of years before it will even disintegrate. So don't worry, your great grandkids will see them too. The small 13% of water bottles are recycled and used to make fleece clothing, carpeting, decking, playground equipment, etc. The other 87% is sent off to either the landfill, where it is incinerated, creating toxic gases such as chlorine gas and ash containing heavy metals are released into the atmosphere, or it ends up in the rivers, lakes, and ocean as pollution. What about the making of plastic bottles? One huge issue with this is carbon dioxide. Did you know that bottling water produces over 2.5 million tons of carbon dioxide? Water bottles are made from polyethane, tempethylate, aka PET, a form of polyester. To produce a ton of PET, a manufacturer 
also has to produce three tons of CO2. The aftermath of this means that in 2006 alone, bottling water produced more than 2.5 million tons of carbon dioxide. Ultimately, this is terrible for our own zone, as well as human consumption. Not only does the air get polluted, but it also has a huge impact on the community around the production plant. Water extraction surrounding bottled plant, bottling plants involve mil millions of gallons of water to make the bottles. This often leads to the local water, water shortages that affect nearby residents, especially farmers who need to provide food for the surrounding neighborhoods. So now you know a little bit about water bottles, let's go over the pros and cons of refilling. Let's talk about the pros first. We know that refilling water bottles saves a ton of cash, which is a pretty good thing. We also know that refilling water bottles does wonders for our environment, which is also a great thing. And we finally know that refilling water bottles helps to save our natural resources, which is a great thing. So what are the cons? Well, the main con is that not everyone likes the taste of tap water, but this is something that people should easily be used to. In fact, several bottling companies have been sued for tap water, for bottling tap water. The taste was so similar to the bottled water that people could not tell the difference. The thought that tap water does not taste good is almost entirely mental. Unless, of course, <clears throat> you're drinking the Clemson's tap water. So next time you go to open a new water bottle, don't. Use the refill system. You and your world will appreciate it.